Hey everybody, Erin here from practicepharmacy.com, the student pharmacist site for study resources and real world pharmacy examples. Today I want to show you the difference between an insulin syringe and a tuberculin syringe. But first, if you have any questions regarding how to dose insulin or how to measure insulin, please, please ask the advice of a trusted healthcare professional because an error in dosing or measuring insulin can have extremely severe consequences. This is three insulins and two syringes. The first thing I wanna show you is the concentration on the insulin. As you can see right here, it's 100 units per ml. And the way that's indicated with insulin is that it's U100. So there's 100 units in a milliliter. That's the humulin R, the Levomir is the same thing. 100 units per milliliter, U100. No vlog is identical. 100 units per milliliter, U100. Not all insulin is U100. There is some that's U500, which is five times more concentrated. This is an insulin syringe. It's specifically made for dosing U100 insulin, as you see right here, U100 insulin only. A full syringe to this line has 100 units, the word units there, of insulin. You know that if you fill it all the way up to the 100 line, that you have 100 units, and therefore you have one cc. This one is a tuberculin syringe. It doesn't tell you anything about units specifically, but you know if you fill it all the way up to this 1.0 line that you have one cc, and therefore 100 units. When using an insulin syringe, you simply draw back to the line corresponding to the number of units of insulin that you want. But if you're using a tuberculin syringe, you have to convert from units of insulin to milliliters of insulin. We know that there are 100 units per milliliter, so we simply have to divide the number of units we want by 100 to get the quantity in milliliters. So if, for instance, we want 25 units of insulin, we would use the conversion factor of 100 units per milliliter, take the inverse, which is one milliliter over 100 units, and when we multiply that out, the units cancel, 25 is divided by 100, and we're left with 0 0.25 milliliters, or in other words, 25 hundredths of a milliliter. If we wanted 8 units of insulin, we would multiply by that conversion factor, 1 milliliter over 100 units. The units here will cancel again, 8 divided by 100 is 0 0.08 milliliters or 8 hundredths of a milliliter and from this we can understand that each hundredth of a milliliter contains one unit of insulin. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did I'd like to invite you to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and then check out practicepharmacy.com for more study resources and real-world pharmacy examples. See you next time.